They say a friend in need is a friend indeed. Sonko has been a friend to many. He touches the lives of the people he serves, and this has been his lifestyle since day one. Do you remember the Loreto Msongari High School bus accident on 29th July 2011? Some died and others sustained head and limb injuries. Like something was telling us to take very many photos of each other. The continues to drive for a while until we the clutch for the bus started burning. Most of my friends who lost their hands, like the head girl, so she came out of the bus asking where her hand was. Then I think she fainted. It was indeed a task to the parents who were forced to take care of their children. One of the victim's mother sent Mike Sonko several photos of her daughter who had lost her limbs, and he moved in to help them. Hi, Gukuwa Raisi. Kumanaj, Wupereka ye hospital. Turiuza, Kira Kitu, Ujotu Patebesa, Yaku Wupereka hospital. The consequence of, 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 of uh, the accident brought, you know, uh, health problem. Uh, stress. Sometimes you find uh, you need to help her in certain areas where she could have helped herself. She's not been able to do her own laundry work. She needs somebody to, to assist her even in school. So I asked the Honorable Senator to look at the case of these girls, help them, especially, you know, uh, future education. touched by the photos uh, uh, sent to me by one of the uh, um, uh, mother's uh, victims, uh, Ms. Uh, Mama Stacy. The photos really touched me. I even shared the same photos with, with His Excellency the President, Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta. To mingle to these victims and survivors in Nairobi County, uh, with their parents, the victims, and uh, have a contribution of one million Kenya shillings to the families who have had their challenges. Out of this one million, 600,000 is from President Uhuru Kenyatta. Uh, he personally sent me today to go to their homes and uh, give this contribution. It was not easy for me to mobilize all the survivors and victims. We are glad we are together with the, the, the mothers, the parents, and the victims themselves who are here in my office today. So we'll hand over this contribution. I'd like to say from deep down I'm very grateful for the contributions you've received today. These will significantly help all of us in many different ways and they all go directed either into our future or current expenses or majorly into our medication. The President of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, um, I thank you so much for helping me and my family with this amount of money. The President of Uhuru Kenyatta and uh, the Senator Mike Sonko so much for the contributions that they've given us today. It will go a long way especially in the forthcoming uh, trip that we're supposed to take to Italy. Actually, one of the things that was pulling us down was uh, the air ticket, and uh, now we are showing where they're going. I take this opportunity to thank the Senator, Mr. Mike Sonko, and our beloved President of Kenya, and your team as a whole, for remembering us this day, and remembering our kids, who are most hurt, 
and for this gesture when they'll be able at least to get their processes. Most of them are on this silicone and uh, they, they wear out. At least for now we know that we are able to get their silicone processes. I never knew that one time one day on this like this with Mr. Sonko uh, face to face like this, you, you always just see him in the news like um, supporting uh, people in all different ways. But you never knew that one time, one day it will also come our turn. We really thank you so much, Mr. Senna. Thank you so much. God bless you. And uh, Mr. Our President, our President, Mr. Uru Kigata, God bless you. May you live longer. Sonko father mobilized the affected families and friends and visited the families of those who lost their loved ones. $250,000. Thank you very much. Our contribution. Thank you very much. Thank you even at this time that you've been able to come now and just for small, small people like us, you know. <laughs> yeah, small people. <laughs> yeah, so it's a pleasure. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Good night. Yeah? Thank you so much. We pray for you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to take this moment once again to uh, welcome all of you and uh, most sincerely to thank our Honorable Senator, Mike Sonko. Uh, we remember very vividly three years ago and some months, we really felt alone and uh, we had to, to do what we could alone, but uh, we most honestly and uh, sincerely thank God and we thank all of you for making the time to come. The memories are fresh. We didn't know how to go about it all, but God has been faithful with us. He has kept us and she's resting in peace. So we are happy that you're all here to be with us this day. On behalf of my family and the entire Nairobi fraternity, I take this opportunity convey my late condolences to Zena's parents, family, friends for this tragic incident that took the life of our beloved Zena Flavia Ondachi. May God Keep her soul in internal peace. We heard from the father that they want to construct a shed. We know man you cannot bring Zena back to life. But I give my contribution of 200,000 to the family for the construction of the shed. May God give you strength and courage to lose and mobilize all the victims and survivors as we've done today. We'll always respect Zena and we'll always remember Zena. Once again, may God raise her soul or keep her soul uh, in eternal peace. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you very much and you're welcome.
Mwanganiju kwani katika jina la Bwana Kumshukuru dayani Bwana Mungu Subhana Uoko wa ajalini enyi wetu wasichana Manusura wa ajali waloreto msongari Tunamshukuru kaka maiki sonko seneta Alivyo fanya haraka msada kuleta Mungu ampe baraka azidi kumeta meta Manusura wa ajali waloreto msongari Sonko, a father to many, several adopted children who he lives with. Some of them are orphans but live together with his family. One of the things that touches my heart concerning my senator, because he's my senator, he's the senator of Nairobi. Tell your neighbor he's my senator. He is my senator. He has such a compassionate heart. You know there is politics and there is a core. This man is not a politician. This when I watch the way he handles the poor people, then I know. There is something extraordinary in his life. Kuna kitu kisicho cha kawaida ndani yake. And I and our senator Mike Bovia want to give you the scripture. Na senator wetu Mike ningependa kukupa andiko hili. He who gives to the poor. Yeye anayewapa masikini. He rents to God. Huwa amemkopesha Bwana. I have watched you. Nimekuona almost every single month karibu kila mwezi when there is disasters in our nation wakati kuko na janga katika taifa letu you are there umekuwa pale when a family was shot in the coast and there was that child who had a bullet in the body wakati mtoto alipigwa risasi kule Mombasa na alikuwa na risasi ndani ya mwili wake you went and you picked that child in your hands okay. in your arms chukua huyo mtoto katika mikono yako the next thing we are hearing the child is in your house tunaposikia ako nyumbani kwako that is not politics you don't take poor people to your home hiyo sio siasa uchukui maskini kwako nyumbani hiyo huo ni mwito and as god has called you to do it it's not doable na vile mungu amekuita utende hii ni kitu ambacho hakiwezekani i believe our senator mike naamini senator wetu mike he who has a begun good, who, who has begun a good work in you alianza kazi nzuri ndani yako he will finish it ataimaliza senator mike sonko i praise the lord uh, i'm glad to be with you this afternoon I have reached where I am today because I believe in God and I fear God. I'll come to that, but first let me welcome my family. I'm blessed with a very, very big family. Uh, on my right, this is my lovely wife. She's Primrose Mbovi. She's a business lady. This is my firstborn daughter. She is Saul Mumbuvi. She's a third year student at JKU Art University in Karen. 
she is taking mass communication. This is my second born daughter, Salma Mbuvi. She is in Potterhouse School in Runda. This is my last born, Sandra Mbuvi. Also schooling at Potterhouse School, Runda. This is Lenias Wangare. I took her when she was six years old. I have been staying with her as my daughter for all this period. She's now a third year student at Moy University taking mass communication. This young lady is an orphan. She lost her parents when she was young, and now she's in Form 1, and I'm staying with her. This is gift. His mother was shot dead by terrorists at Joy Church in Likoni. He's the young boy who rescued his young brother, the last born in my family. And I'm staying with them since they lost their mother. Their mother was the sole breadwinner of their family. He's now in Ruiru Academy, boarding school. I can say he is my son. This is the baby who was shot. And he's also my son. Since the day he was discharged from hospital, I'm staying with him. These are our neighbors, family friends, and we are staying together as one family. So this is where my blessings come from. I have I have other 14 orphans who are still in school. They lost their parents during the Sinai fire tragedy when I was the MP for Makadara. I'm also taking care of them as their father. My wife is taking care of them as their mother. And we are happy to be with all this big family. You can go and sit. I want to give just a small testimony about myself and my relationship with God. And I'm happy to say, I stand here as the Senator in Nairobi County because I believe in God. And because of the blessings me and my family receive on daily basis from God. I was term a rogue leader. I remember there was a time I slept on the road I lit tires on the road. But these were my first days, all my first months in politics. I was not conversant in politics. And I had a reason why I did that. I did that because there was no way I could sit back and watch women being mistreated, women being clobbered by city council Ascaris. There was this idea by the former city council of Nairobi. They wanted to put the modern kiosks along the streets of Nairobi. They were selling these kiosks at half a million. So what they did, they used to come on the streets, chase the women who were selling bogus, the mama bogus, the mama tomatoes. They used to hire goons. Goons used to come, clobber these women, Still their produce, still their sales. I protested, I raised this matter in parliament, I reported the matter to the police, but no action was taken. 
So one day I decided to deal with this <laughs> issue. I mobilized my boys. I was called by the same women who were being harassed. So I went with my boys. I found a van of city council. Then I told the Askaris, today, you are not going with these women. You are not going to lock these women in the police cells. You better kill me, but these women are not going anywhere. Where do you expect these poor women who are selling bogus, who are getting a profit of 20 shillings or 50 shillings a day? So I decided to sleep on the road. I blocked the van, and the women were released. And from that day, that incident has never transpired again. So I think because of time, let me end there. But I just wanted to give you a part of my story. Maybe through Mr. Mburu, I think I'll get another invitation in future. I'll come and join you and fellowship with you. But thank you very much, and may God bless you all. Lord Jesus, as we stand under your Lordship, what a privilege to have godly leaders who love you. Lord, who are serving this nation faithfully. Lord, we pray for them, Lord, that you would protect them, you would guide them, you would strengthen them, you would help them to be able to do everything that is necessary to move the nation forward, God. But Father, give them the opportunities that they dreamed about. Give them the dreams, Lord, that you birthed within their heart to, that will see this nation become exactly what you want it to be. Lord, thank you, and we pray blessing over them, and we're asking, God, that you give them more and not less. Give them all the resources, and abundantly even more than that, so that they will be able to do all that is necessary. And Lord, uh, fill their hands full, and then fill it again and raise them up, Lord. Raise them up in this nation to be able to take the positions that go beyond even this nation into the nations. And we pray this blessing over them in Jesus' name. I'm planting a seed of one million Kenya shillings. Today I'm giving cash, 500,000. And another check of 500,000.